Elon Musk's SpaceX is a forerunner in aerospace technologies and the company is working hard at perfecting its new spaceship rocket. They're working on a fully reusable launch system that will be able to return astronauts to the moon and allow humanity to colonize Mars in a variety of ways. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from Engine Nation. In this video today, we'll walk you through SpaceX's new Starship launch tower. But before we do that, remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and press the notification bell to stay up to date on everything related to future technology, Elon Musk and SpaceX. SpaceX's Starship rocket is still in development in southeast Texas, with significant progress made on key elements such as the launch tower construction. SpaceX envisions a future in which a Starship could be used as a point-to-point -point mode of transportation on Earth. The launch mechanism will consist of a Starship and a Super Heavy rocket that will launch from the Starbase's Stage 0 launch pad. The launch system and all ground support equipment, including the 400-foot-tall orbital launch tower, will be outfitted with mechanical arms. Engineers will be able to load the 160-foot-tall Starship spaceship onto the 230-foot-tall Super Heavy rocket that will carry it into orbit using the robotic tower. It is the world's tallest launch vehicle, towering above New York Statue of Liberty. The Starship Super Heavy will also be the world's most powerful rocket ever constructed. The Mechazilla arms were installed on the 400-foot-tall orbital launch tower by SpaceX employees in Boca Chica Village on Wednesday, October 20th. In the coming year, the Mechazilla arms will assist in the development of the Starship launch system. The highlighted image was captured by local resident at Lab Padre who has cameras monitoring SpaceX's Starship progress and shows the most recent set of arms installed on the tower this week. The massive Super Heavy rocket and Starship will be held in place by chopstick-like arms as they descend to the launch pad. Using this method of retrieving spacecraft, the corporation will be able to reuse the vehicles in less than an hour. That is truly incredible. Last month, Musk said, SpaceX will attempt to capture the largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks. Success isn't a given, but thrills are. The official image of how the rocket will be captured has yet to be released by SpaceX. SpaceX may catch Starship and Super Heavy with Mechazilla, according to an incredible rendering by at X Space on Twitter. In response to the render animation, Musk stated that it is very similar to how the cars will be captured. Arms and boosters will move more quickly. The quick disconnect arm will keep the booster stable for the shipmate. Musk said in response to the video, Mechazilla will also capture the Starship. There are no landing legs, just like on the booster. Until local infrastructure is established, these are only needed for the Moon and Mars, he adds. Elon Musk, the company's CEO, revealed earlier this month how the company plans to use a massive arm, dubbed Mechazilla, to pull the new Starship rocket into place. The arm will also assist SpaceX in catching the spacecraft once it has landed allowing the company to achieve some of its most ambitious goals, such as launching the same spacecraft three times per day, implying the possibility of establishing a city on Mars by 2050. The Starship is a fully reusable rocket capable of simultaneously launching more than 100 tons of cargo or 100 people into space, and it's one of the most ambitious elements of a spaceflight project that's already breaking new ground. The ship will support all of SpaceX's current missions, while also laying the groundwork for longer-term goals such as a moon base or a Mars city. With a height of 394 feet and a liftoff force of 16 million pounds, the rocket under construction could become the world's tallest and most powerful rocket. Despite the fact that the scenario is already visually stunning, Mechazilla has the potential to significantly improve it. According to NASA, the fixed service structure at Kennedy Space Center's launch pad 39A, which is used for rockets like the SpaceX Falcon 9 and NASA's Space Shuttle, is nothing new. It's 347 feet tall from the ground to the top of the lightning pole, with three swing arms that allow access to a shuttle parked on the pad. It's ideal for astronauts to flee in the event of a disaster. Some ardent fans have even created cartoons depicting the Mechazilla in action, but SpaceX has bigger plans for the Mechazilla. By December 2020, the company must declare its intention to use the launch tower's arms to catch the extremely heavy rocket on its way back to Earth. 
In January 2021, Elon Musk unveiled SpaceX's latest plans to increase flight frequency by drastically reducing turnaround time. A new launch tower was needed to capture first stage boosters as they returned to Earth. This would eliminate the need for future extremely heavy rockets to have landing legs, as well as the possibility of Starships returning to Earth. The most common name for the launch tower next to the Starship launch pad is Mechazilla. The rocket will make its first orbital flight later this year from the company's Starbase Texas Boca Chica site, where the launch pad is located. Musk was inspired by a tweet from animator Eric X, who asked if his most recent render of a starship landing next to its launch tower was as accurate as usual. We're going to try capture the incredibly heavy booster with the launch arm using grid fins, Musk wrote on Twitter. Taking the load saves weight and money on legs, as well as allowing the rocket to be quickly placed onto the launch platform and ready to fly in less than an hour. At SpaceX's Boca Chica launch pad in South Texas, ground crews recently stacked the launch tower's capturing arm. Now that the area is complete, crews can now begin installing hydraulic systems, fuel lines, and other components on the tower. The current height of the tower is around 145 meters. That will turn it into Mechazilla, as Musk affectionately refers to it as. This is most likely a reference to the Godzilla film franchise, Mechagodzilla figure. The most recent is Eric X, who tweeted on October 20th, 2021, that he would use the completed structure as the starting point for his next animation. A fully operational tower catches a spent super heavy booster that has just returned from deployment and transports a starship into orbit to the launch stand in the animation, titled, quote, unquote, Maxilla, with less than one hour turnaround time. Over the last few years, SpaceX has also been working hard, finishing the final portion of the launch tower catching arm. The launch tower received an intriguing addition, which was later outfitted with multiple large pulleys. That equipment will almost certainly be used in high-powered pulley systems to lift and capture starships and super-heavy boosters by pulling the arm carriage up and down the tower. So far, Musk has promised a turnaround time of under an hour, if and when starships begin flying people between large cities on point-to-point -point journeys, this is very likely. Musk has promised that the service will be available once the starship is approved for commercial flights. SpaceX, on the other hand, plans to launch the first fully stacked Starship Super Heavy rocket into orbit this year. During the first flight attempt, they did not intend to use the launch tower arm to capture the rocket. The Starship orbital test flight will take off from Starbase, Texas, according to a filing with the Federal Communications Commission. According to the filing, the orbital spaceship will continue to travel between the Florida Straits. During a fit test on August 6th, the company stacked the launch vehicle for the first time. It was unstacked so that the spacecraft could continue its pre-flight preparations. Let's hope the Starship's massive orbital arm can capture and assemble Starship rockets, as well as extremely heavy boosters, since we're talking about Mechazilla. SpaceX is getting ready to attempt orbital travel for the first time. The company's application for a launch license has yet to be approved by the Federal Aviation Administration. It's unclear when the massive rocket with its 29 methane fueled Raptor engines will take off because the administration is currently conducting an environmental assessment of Starbase launch site. It will be the first time SpaceX has flown with more than three Raptors on the same mission. Six Raptors will be installed on the Starship SN20 and pre-flight testing has already begun. A single RVAC engine designed to propel a rocket through a vacuum was installed and tested by engineers. While each day brings us closer to the start of the Mars colonization mission, some of us can't keep our excitement in check. What are your thoughts on this matter? Tell us how pumped you are in the comment section down below. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on any of our latest updates. Until next time.